Darren's birthday. So we decided we were gonna go to Greece okay. for the weekend. We're officially in Greece whoop, whoop. on like a 30 minute drive. Good morning. Welcome to Parga, Greece. Oh man. Greece was originally supposed to be on our uh, route when I originally signed up for the world race um, because there was still the refugee crisis going on here and whatnot. And I was really excited to help out with that because, you know, social media and you actually want to do something because it's all on social media. But uh, things change, times change, do crises happen, and they don't, they didn't need anybody here. So we got rerouted to Spain, not complaining. And that will be next month, but it is awesome to check Greece off the list. Yeah, so it's later now, uh, and I'm, I'm walking around, basically. So everybody decided to kind of do their own thing, and I saw there was some things on the map I wanted to see here. So there's like a waterfall, castle, a monastery, and I wanted to walk around and do some things. First stop, the waterfall, right? I'm by myself. See that? I don't know if you can see it, see the waterfall there, but uh, it's kind of awesome. It wasn't even that far away. Granted, most of the hike was uphill, but I'm completely okay with that. I've been doing a lot of hiking anyway, and it is hot. I am sweating. But one thing I think I've noticed more than anything else is like my need for more. And on the world race, it's kind of like I feel like I'm constricted in that sense because. I've, uh, you gotta stay with the team and can't do everything you wanna do, and we're here on an adventure day, kinda got away, and I've been kinda learning how not to please people, but like trust them to do their own thing, and they trust me to do my own thing. And I wanna people please, I really do, and I wanna keep the whole team together. But sometimes, you gotta go on your own. And I think that's part of my, uh, my Enneagram type. I'm a seven which means I'm the adventurous, the enthusiast, who constantly wants more. I heard it described like, um, we strive to be content, but we settle for more. We just stuff as many things as we can into our day. That's something I totally do. And this vlog is, is one of those things. I think I need to go jump in this waterfall. Like it's a castle of some sort. I should have brought water. I'm really parched. It's a long way away. I think a lot of parts about me with the seven is I don't want to be boxed in. And I found out that coming like through the second half, I started freaking out about the future. Like what am I gonna do? I don't want to box myself into doing just one thing. And I think over the last three months I've really kind of owned where I want to take this and who I am and what happens later and how I how can I really pull out what's best about me when and what's worst about me and use it for my benefit like let's reframe the issue and point me in a direction what am I passionate about what am I willing to go for and a lot of that is the adventure and a lot of that is storytelling. And a lot of that is just providing extra perspective on the world because part of me and part of the seven is totally wanting to understand every point of view and going out and seeing it for yourself. Okay, so the next place we're going is here. Can you see right down there? There's an old monastery. 
We're gonna go see that. Ruins of a monastery. Super cool. I think a lot of me coming to all these places today is just because I haven't seen a bunch of old ruins on my race. I didn't get that in. I'm getting it in now. Ooh, I'm gonna ring the bell. Whoop. I have no idea the history about that at all. But it was on the way to the next thing. Here's the next thing. Note to self, I'll bring water next time. Okay, so I, the only thing I do know about is the castle. So, let me look it up here. The castle was initially built in the 11th century and it was rebuilt by the Venetians in the 16th century. That was the fourth time it was rebuilt. And evidently the Venetians were a thing for a long time. There's a lot of history there. I had no idea this part of the world was occupied by them. And this fort was to stage off pirates. That's cool. Yeah, that was a long day. Let's see how many steps I got. So it looks like I went 11.8 miles today. That's a lot of walking. I wonder what my friends are doing. All right, time to go find them. I found my friends. <laughs> They've been sitting here. How long have you been sitting here for? Ooh. 11? Two yeah. seconds. 11 o'clock coming. Since I started that hike. But I've not been sitting here the whole time. Well, that's good. I went in the water. How is it? It was freezing. It's freezing? But it feels so good once you get it in. It's nice. Okay, yeah. it's freezing cold. <laughs> okay, I'm about to go try this out. So uh, being my seven nature, I saw that there was something on the way that, at least the way going back home, that's something we need to see. So I can convince the team to come with me. Look at this. This is like something out of Avatar The Last Airbender. You have to be honest, dude. So being a seven on the Instagram, my problem is that I like to avoid pain by running to the next activity. Don't address it, just run to the next fun thing. And I'm also really good at reframing an issue, so every bad thing that happens to me, I end up turning into a positive for me sometimes. Which can be good, but then I don't learn how to sit in my pain and actually acknowledge it. And then when other people have pain, I wanna fix them and tell them the optimistic side of what is happening. But people don't like that. I think one of the big things I've learned on the race here is it's okay to sit with people in their pain. And in myself included, to sit in my own pain, to feel it, to understand it, to be able to build empathy and grace. Not try to fix people. This is Meteora. It is awesome. It looks incredible. So if you're a big fan of uh, self-awareness and knowing yourself, give me a big thumbs up. If you know your Enneagram type, maybe your Myers-Briggs, comment below. I'd love to hear from you about what you think about personality types and things like that. So I'll, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Time for me to go back to Albania along with the rest of them. So yeah, make sure you guys stay excellent to each other. Make sure you, you subscribe to keep up on all the updates. Like, do the things you do, comment below. I'll see you later.